Once you launch Camera Raw, there are many adjustments that you can make across the top of your screen and down the side of your uh, panels and panes. Uh, some of the adjustments um, that you'll see are basic, detail, split toning effects, presets, tone curve, uh, grayscale, lens correction, camera calibration, and snapshots. But you'll notice that these are not single adjustments, these are grouping of adjustments. And if you select them, they're called uh, grouped adjustment tabs. It will launch a panel that will further explain what you can do with those settings. And so you can see that they're here on the top and if you click through the tabs you'll be able to see all the different settings that you could choose. And so these are just some of the snapshots of what those tabs will look like. And right now it probably doesn't make much sense to you, but I'll show you a couple things that that might work for what you what you need it for. So the first is uh, a tab where you can adjust the exposure and contrast of an image if it's underexposed or overexposed. You can adjust tonal curves to an image on the second panel and then you can sharpen or you can add some noise reduction to the image and you'll see that all the different options are are linked to whatever tab that you're on. Uh, across the top of your screen are your tools and across the top of the screen are a variety of different tools and if you read the entire chapter on Camera Raw then you will go through every single one of these and learn more about it. I'm going to point out a couple of different tools that you can use. I'm not going to go through them in great detail because if you take Photoshop for photographers they'll go all through what, all through what Camera Raw can do. You'll notice that my screenshot here says Adobe Bridge CC 2017 and that's because I have launched camera off through Adobe Bridge and that's how I'm accessing this screenshot. I would like you to be able to straighten an image in Photoshop, uh, not in Photoshop, in camera raw for this activity and when you do your homework assignment uh, project one you'll be required to do this and it's important that you do it the right way because if you do it the right way when you launch the image in Bridge it will show you that you've edited the image in camera raw and that you have performed a straightening operation. The steps for straightening an image in Camera Raw are to, from the Adobe Bridge, right-click right a document and choose to open it in Camera Raw. You need to double-click the Straighten tool and choose a preset to straighten option via the Transform panel. It will be on the right-hand side. Or you can make the adjustments manually until the image has been straightened to your liking. Once you're done, you'll notice that the automatic procedure to straighten the image might end up causing the size of your image to not have any artwork or any image area. Uh, if that happens, you need to use the zoom tool to zoom in on your image so that when you are done, your artwork fills the entire rectangle of the picture and doesn't leave holes in the background. So let's put some screenshots to that. In this image of the Eiffel Tower, not the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, you'll see that the image is crooked, right? And so the, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is supposed to be crooked, the image is not wrong, but I want you to straighten it because I want you to see if you can straighten the image. And I would like you to make sure that you select the, the straightening tool and then launch the transform panel. And you'll see that there are lots of different options and you can play around with these sliders, but you literally just need to use um, one of the upright options in the top part of the panel and then scale the image, slide it to the right until it becomes big enough that it fills in the gaps on the right hand sides of the picture. When you're done, it will effectively rotate the picture. Um, it will straighten it. Um, I, I don't want to say it will rotate the picture because I do not want you to rotate the picture. It does something more complicated than that. See how the background, the, um, the, the clouds they're not entirely rotated like, like the picture is. And so it's not simply rotating it, it's helping you straighten the image and it's trying to keep parts of it aligned. And that's why you need to click through the different options until you get the version of the Leaning Tower of Pisa um, so that it is straight but the background does not become distorted. And then after you're done, you're probably gonna have gaps in the background and then you can use the, the zoom slider to zoom in so that you do not have any background that is showing through. I'm going to jump out of the slideshow now and I want to demo how to straighten an image. Um, the next video will go through that step by step.